Hey folks, this is Vincent Natalie with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to try Anno 1800, the board game. This game supports two to four players, it's for ages 12 and up, and the average play time is uh, 120 minutes. The way we play, it's going to take us all day. Um, so with that in mind, uh, this is our first time playing, this is going to be a learning game. We're going to do our best to follow all of the rules, um, but this is a fairly complex game, um, so we're not going to get everything right. My goal today, like always, is to spark interest. So, regardless of whether or not we played correctly or incorrectly, my hope is is that you like what you see here, and enough so that you might go out and buy the game for yourself, assuming that you're into this kind of thing. Alright, so here's a quick look at the box. Well, I hesitate to use the word insert, because there is no insert, it's just a box. Um, here's the roll book. It's roughly eh, 16 pages or so. Uh, lots of small print and pictures and stuff like that. So, uh, again, uh, this is a more, I would say, medium to heavy, complex kind of game. Um, there's some player boards in here that uh, we're not using because this is only a two-player game. But uh, I wanted to sort of zoom in on this a bit because this is the crux of what we're going to be looking at today. This is a resource generating worker placement game where we're going to be spending these people up here. There's cubes to represent each person. There's green, blue, red, purple, and uh, aqua, or whatever, teal. Um, those represent the different, I guess, stages of, or class of people. Uh, if you've ever played the Anno game on the computer, which I have, I have 1800, uh, 2205, there's a, there's a number of Anno games out there on the PC. But uh, generally, it's a resource chaining kind of game, and that's what the board game attempts to do here, and pretty well. Um, but there's five different classes of people in this game, and you start with like the farmers, which are green, and then you work all the way up to whatever that class is. I, I don't have them memorized, but it starts with green, then blue, then red, then purple, then aqua. And then the cost to get new population is right above each one, so by spending these resources down here on these factories, you'll be able to generate more population, which gives you more cubes for that particular color. You can even upgrade from green to blue by spending the resources in between. So we're going to be doing that throughout the game, just getting more population and generating resources. Um, on the very bottom, there's also like a shoreline. We can put buildings here, um, which we will be getting from the supply up here, but we can also put docks down here. Uh, you start the game with one dock already, but you can put more down and that lets you build ships, which lets you trade with your opponent, um, uh, as well as explore the new world and the old world. Um, there are some tiles up here. The larger ones are old world. They are basically like you're discovering new parts of land that you're already on. And then the new world is like overseas kind of thing. Uh, those are like exotic goods that you normally wouldn't be able to get. Um, so we're going to be using our exploration ships to get more tiles to expand our play area so that we can build more buildings and, and do other things. Um, on the very top, there's also these goal cards. Um, five are drawn at random at the start of the game. However, the manual recommends a particular five, and that's the ones that we're doing right there. Um, this board that you're looking at is just, those are all factories that we'll be putting down onto our tableau here in order to produce something. Um, there are two of each tile typically. Like to produce this resource, we would um, first we would have to pay the cost to put this factory down, this manufacturing down. So we would pay these two resources, then we could take it from the, uh, the supply there and then flip it and then add it to our array so that we can start generating that resource in the future. Using our trade ships, we can also trade for resources that we don't have. Um, the uh, opponent that you trade with gets a gold in, uh, from, from the bank and, and sort of like payment, but uh, typically there's no way to stop a trade from happening. Um, each player starts the game with two of these educated worker cards 
and seven of these non-educated worker cards. Um, every time you add population to your board, you're going to draw new cards from these decks. So every time you get a green or a blue population, you're going to pick up one of these cards and add it to your hand. Um, every time you get a red, purple, or blue cube uh, from here, you're going to pick up one of these cards and add it to your hand. And the goal of the game is to empty your hand of cards. That triggers the end of the game. So we're going to be gaining more of these cards um, as we play before we actually start getting rid of them. Um, the reason why we start with the cards that we do is because we start the game with four green cubes and three blue cubes. That's seven. That's where these seven cards come from. And we start the game with two red cubes, which are why we start with two of these cards. And on the reverse side of these cards, um, on the very top, is what we need to spend in our factory or to trade with in order to complete this card. This is a one-off bonus that we do get should we complete it, and we can enact these at any time. Um, and the bottom number is how many victory points you get for uh, completing it. So we're going to be trying to, again, empty our hand of these cards as we gain them in order to end the game, and whoever has the most victory points wins. Um, there's a lot more. This, this, this sheet outlines nine different actions that you can take on your turn. I'm not going to sit here and read them all off to you, it just take too long. So we're just going to play the game, and as stuff comes up, we'll explain it as best as we can. Um, so I think with that, uh, I think we're ready to go. It was decided before that I am the first player, so I get the first player token here, and she, as a payment, gets one gold uh, in compensation. Okay, so I've zoomed in the camera a bit so that you can actually see what we're doing with our individual boards. If I remember, I will do my best to zoom out so that you could possibly see some of this stuff up here as it comes up. But uh, we're going to be zooming in on the player boards because that's where the crux of the action is going to be. Um, so as the first player, I'm going to look at my cards and see what kind of resources that I need. Um, in order to complete these. Now these are educated workers over here, so more than likely I'm not going to be able to do anything with them right now. So I'll focus on the easier cards to look at, and I'm going to see if I can find resources that sort of pair up, ones that I need the most of, like for example, uh, this resource, this resource, they're all the same. So this might be like something I may want to shoot for early on in terms of Product, uh, production. So I'm going to look to see what it's going to cost to uh, build that. So I'm going to take a look at the board up here um, and look for that particular factory, which is this one. So let's see if I can actually construct that and add it to my board. So this particular factory manufacturing process needs a wheat so uh, there is wheat on my player board, and in order to generate these resources, I need to move these green cubes from the ready space over to a worker space. Each of these spaces has two, uh, has two of these um, worker slots available. So I'm just going to simply move a green cube over there to manufacture wheat. And that's a one-off thing. You don't like generate and hold on to goods in this game. In Anno, you're constantly like holding on to resources. In this game, whenever you produce something, it's a one-off and it has to be spent right away. Uh, and the other resource I need is coal. And coal is generated here via a red cube. So I'm gonna move the red cube like so. I'm gonna move this back so people can see what you're doing. And um, I've generated the, the wheat and the coal necessary to generate this, or to, to create this. So I'm going to flip it over and add it to my player board, maybe down here. So now in the future, I can produce bread. And bread may help me to complete some of these cards that I might have. Now, Ida Lee does not have bread yet, but she can use her ships to trade for this bread. Uh, there are some restrictions when it comes to trading with other people. For example, you can't trade for more than one of the same resource and um, you can't produce more of, like you can't produce 
uh, more than one of the same resource on your turn, so you can't just keep trying to produce bread every on, on the same turn. There's some restrictions, but for the most part, that was my turn. Um, I, I utilized the expand action. Produce resources in order to build one construction token. Uh, again, you can also build with that action um, on the very top right, there are shipyards that you can add here, as well as building ships for here. So there are some other parts to the expand action, but you would pick one of these things and then you build it. So I, I, that's what I did. I went ahead and built this bakery here. Other things I could do, again, those will come up as we go. Um, there are some free actions that you can take on your turn. If you have any gold, for example, you can spend that gold to move workers back into their uh, ready spaces, the cost of which depends on the color cube. The green ones are one, blue ones are two. It's listed right on the player board. Um, there is an action that you can take on your turn. It's called a festival and that readies everything. So it's like you just take your entire turn to move all the cubes back to their ready spaces. If you were to spend these trade tokens or exploration tokens, um, you would also put them back onto their respective ships. So there are ways to like ready everything without having to spend gold. Uh, you do get victory points at the end of the game for having gold, but typically gold is there to refresh stuff. So with that done, uh, we're gonna move on to Ida Lee's turn. Oh, I thought you had nine actions. I choose one of them. Oh. I don't do all nine. Oh, I that would be you overpowered. Chose, I thought you chose. I thought we each chose. No. Nine. Never mind. No. I do one. <laughs> you do funny. one. I do one. You do oh, one. Oh jeez. So now it is your turn. I would be here for half an hour yeah. doing my stuff, and then it would be no. That that doesn't work that way. All right. So I did my my action. I built a bakery. Okay. So now you can decide which of the nine actions or whatever you, that you want to take, and then take it. Okay. Um, um, hold on. While she's thinking, one thing that I did not go over were these cards here and these cards here. Again, these cards are gained by gaining population cubes. This one, if you explore the old world, um, you get three of these cards. Uh, you can also spend exploration tokens, which are, again, these here. You can spend these to um, either get tiles to expand your play area, or you can draw three of these expedition cards. These expedition cards are for end game scoring only. Um, basically, any cubes that you have on your board are then put onto these cards to get points, uh, typically. All right, I think I got it. You got it? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to place a farmer okay. here. Okay, so that is, what is that, brick? Uh, I can't see. It looks like a turkey. <laughs> a or a That's pig a pig, head. yes. Okay. okay. A turkey. That, and then I'll put a craftsman in the iron. Okay, so you, okay, so pig and steel or whatever that is. Yeah. Um, the reverse side actually tells you all the different resources that are in the um, game and what they're called, but uh, yeah. The pig's just, not in here. <laughs> it is. Is it? It's there somewhere. It's got to be. Oh, uh, well, it's because it's not on the main board there. Yeah, that's what that is. Uh, yeah. But yes, your pigs. That's fine. All right. So, so what, what are you building? I'm building a can. <laughs> the can canned food? Yeah, the can okay, food. Okay, so she's going to build this. So she yes. spent the resources necessary for the pig and the steel. So she's going to flip that over and put that somewhere, wherever you want. You can cover up an existing pre-printed slot or a factory that you've already built. Yeah. But there's no reason to do that right now. Okay. So you're going to do that. Yeah. Okay. So your turn is over and now it's my turn again. All right. So now I'm going to take another look and see what else I might need. Um, can I produce? I can. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete a card. That is the play and activate cards action. So you produce resources in order to play one card. Any number of cards can be activated at any time during your turn as a free action. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this one. So I need to spend the resources on the top, brick and bread. So brick is this red one here, and the bread is down here. I just built that. So I've now 
spent the resources or generated the resources I need to do this. And I will now add this to my little score area. Now, this is a one-off ability that I can spend at any time, and there's no reason for me not to do this right now. I'm gonna gain two blue workers as the result of this one-time bonus. So I'm gonna flip the card over and just put this off to the side. This is now part of my end game score. I've got three victory points right now. And I'm gonna gain two blue cubes from the supply and add it here. Um, whenever you add cubes to, again, as you add population, you're gonna draw more cards. So I would add two of these cards now to my hand because I added two blue cubes. And again, I'm gonna be trying to complete these to get more points. And again, the goal is to empty your hand. So like I said earlier, your hand is going to grow before it gets smaller. So it is now your turn. Um, I will, um, okay. How do I get new ships? Ships. Okay, so as one of your actions, you can expand, and you've got a shipyard here that can build a level one ship. Okay. The one here indicates a level one ship. Um, the level base basically signifies that you get one token for it. There are level two and level three ships, and they have level two and level three tokens, respect or you get two and three tokens on them respectively, so you would get more than just the generic one here. Um, so if you want to build a ship, you can build a level one ship right now, and it would either be this one or this one. And just to show the camera what they look like, you would have to spend these resources in order to build one of these two ships. This one is a trade ship that gives you a trade token or a exploration ship which gives you an exploration token. So you start the game with two trade and one exploration, but you can add to that by building more ships. Um, but I don't know if you have sales yet. Do you have sales to generate? I have a sale. Oh, you yeah. have? Okay, so you can generate sales. So um, it's up to you. Um, but I still need... You would need whatever is on the top of those. What in the world? Oh, dang. I see what you mean. So the exploration ships need cannons. Wow. And I don't think... That's over here. Yeah, we don't have cannons yet. Jeez. So, uh, none of us have cannons, so we can't, you can't build this. You can build a trade ship, however. Mm -hmm. That's going to need one sail and one wood, lumber, whatever. Okay. Sail, sails are here, and lumber is there. Okay, hold on. I got this. Okay. All right. Instead, I'll just do, um, I'll explore. Can I explore? Explore, yeah. With this thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. So you're going to use your exploration token. Yes. So are you going to explore... An old world. Okay, so the old world is this larger one. Yeah, so this is the, this yeah. is the old world. Yeah. That's fine. So whenever you flip this over, it's going to be added to your... It's going to be added to your thing here. I'm going to have to do something like this. Yeah. So people can see what you're doing. If they can't see it, maybe I can go under it, or... It doesn't go under. I'm just going to have to zoom out. Oh, it, this is this is gonna require some table space. <laughs> Every everything comes with a one-off bonus. Mm -hmm. uh, all of these old world boards come with a one-off bonus. Does that mean I immediately get a red? Or red, correct. Okay. So you get a red cube and you draw would draw it? a card. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that was your now you have to spend your exploration yes. to do that. Yes. So it just goes off to the side for right now. Okay. Um, the cost of exploring goes up depending on what you're trying to explore. Your first old world exploration is one exploration token. The second one is two. The third one is three and so on. Again, new world, same way. Your first one is one exploration. Uh, second new world is two and so on. Uh, the cards here are always going to be two. So you have to spend two of these exploration tokens to draw three of these cards. Um, so... Is that my whole turn? That was your whole turn. Jeez. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to look just to make sure, yeah, um, explore the... Open up the old world exhaust exploration tokens in order to add one old world island to your display. Um, maximum four world, uh, old world islands per player. And that's it. Okay. So now it's my turn. I think I might do the same thing just because, I don't know, I, I feel like I need to jump on that train before... <laughs> Uh, I mean, the extra bonus that you got was nice. I don't know what mine would be, but um, unless there's another card that I want to complete, 
that might give me... Um, I need that resource, which none of us has. Um, so now it's a matter of like looking at this top tableau here, that this, this resource area, to see like, is the resource that I need within reach? Can I, can I make it? Um, you know what, I could. I, the problem is I don't have the workers needed to generate that right now. Um, so I'd have to pass on that one. I have this and what is that? That is, that is this and this. So this one needs red workers, this one needs blue workers. Uh, but that needs like a motorized train of some kind, which none of us has. That needs wood, which I can make. That needs cotton, which is only accessible by the old world, or the new world. So I'd have to be lucky enough to get cotton. So what I might do, actually, is I'm going to explore. Okay, but I'm going to explore the new world. Yeah. So I'm going to take the smaller one from up here and flip it. And now, the way that these work, you always get cotton, uh, this, this general cotton here on the left, but these two on the right are randomized. There's like five or six of these. So you're going to get different ones when you draw these. And in order to access these, you have to spend trade tokens. So you don't actually assign workers to these spaces. You simply exhaust these trade tokens in order to generate these resources. Your opponent cannot trade for these. However, if I use these to complete a finished good, uh, then like on here, then she can trade for that, but she cannot trade for these raw resources on this board. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just put this off to the side here, like so. Um, again, raw boards are going to be changing as we play probably here. Mm -hmm. So, and that was my turn. Um, I have to draw three of these uh, cards. So one, two, three. And these are, again, like the other cards, they ask for certain things in order to complete them. Okay. So I'm going to add that to my hand as well. And that's that. So I'm, now it is your turn. I'm going to build a, a thing. Pig head and a coal. A coal? Yeah, to build a sausage. A sausage factory. Yes. So this one here. Yes. All right. So right, right there. Yes. Okay. Uh, anything else? My turn. I can't do anything else. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, I am going to... I needed... Wait, how do you complete a card? You just have to have the factories? Or no, you you, it's an action. It's an action. Play and activate population cards. That's an action. So you spend your entire action to complete one of these cards. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> yep. So I am going to... Where's the trading action? Like, if you want to trade. Trading is not an action. That's just something that you can do during the expand action to get what you need to get. Kind of like the when you place workers? Yes. Mm -hmm. During the time you would place workers to build, if you don't have the factory, like, let's say that you're trying to get something that you don't have, you can trade for it during the build action. Okay, I see, I see. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So, what was I doing? I don't know. <laughs> um, I was going to get this, I think. This is cloth. So what I'm going to do is I need cotton from the old or from the new world. So I'm going to exhaust a trade token, right? And I also need wood. So I'm going to put a green cube there. And now I am able to manufacture uh, this cloth, which is going to be necessary for certain things. Mm -hmm. So um, my turn is done at this point. Okay. I will... <clears throat> I will do um, coal, <coughs> coal, and wheat. Okay. In order to make the bottle, the wine. This the here. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put that here. All right, you're making some wine. Yep. All right. <clears throat> um, goodness. The downside is I've got a worker shortage now, so now I got to figure out like. Um, I need to get more reds and blues. Is there a card that I can complete that would get me more of these things? Um, 
This one is thread and coal, of course. Um, here's what I'm going to do. You've got coal, correct? No, it's full up. It doesn't matter. Oh, really? No. It does, it if, if your factory is full up, I can still trade oh, for it. Oh, okay, okay. That's actually... However... Cool. You need those are those are red workers for your coal yes. and in order for me to trade with you I would need two trade tokens. I've only got one so mm -hmm. I can't do that right now anyway um, What I may do uh, Coal and that's see it's expensive um, Maybe I'll just prepare and get more factories um, To try and prepare for the future because this is not Not going as I envisioned. I'm, I have a worker shortage at the moment um Let's see, I can produce that, but I can't produce that. I don't have any gold, so I can't move anyone back at the moment. Um, wow. Um, is there you another? You spent your trade token? I spent my, I spent one trade token, yes, to trade for this cotton. Oh, wow. So, really to put that one card down. Um, what else do I need? I need more. I need more red workers, but unfortunately, I don't have. I don't have a way of generating them right now, which is unfortunate. To make more red workers, I could either upgrade a blue one. I would need coal and goods for that, but goods I need a red and yeah. So like I've I've got this shortage now. So maybe I will. It's so inefficient for me to reset with me having all of these so maybe like I, maybe I should just build more factories and um yeah I'll build more factories maybe and maybe that will force you to use some of mine um so the question is what am I going to build this coal actually is so rather than rather than producing coal with red, I can produce oh, yeah. it with blue. All I need is lumber for this, which I can do. So I'm gonna spend my turn, I'm gonna use a green cube to get this, flip it over, and now I can produce coal with yeah. blue workers instead of red workers. So I've, I've got a more efficient coal production thing going. Okay. So now it is your turn. I'm going to complete a card, right? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Without using workers, do I have to produce these? You have to produce those, yes. So you have to use so workers. So I have to use workers yes, to, to, produce. to put cubes in yes. them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll produce a can and I'll produce a sausage and complete this card? Yep, and that gives you... A red worker? A red worker. Yep, so you're going to add this to your squirt pile. Do you want to use this now? That's the question. Yes. Do you want to... Okay, so yes. this goes off to the side. Okay. You get a red worker and a red yeah, okay. card. Okay. And there you go. What does this mean? <laughs> You need to spend six exploration tokens in order to complete that objective. Get out. And what does it give you? Eight victory points. The envelope? That is a free action. So anytime you want to spend that, as a, you just basically take an extra turn. Oh, okay. Kind of thing. <laughs> My OCD is hurting right now. I'm going to move this, like, <laughs> here. Ugh. Actually, no, that's even worse. Maybe I'll put this up here. Sure. That's fine. Okay, yeah, let's do something like that. Even if it touches, I, I'm, it's, yeah, it's, it's fine. I just, I, I didn't like the fact that they were like misaligned. Anyway. I think it's your turn. Uh, yeah, because you just, you just played yes. a card, right? Yes. So now I've got coal, which now I've got blue workers. So now my options are a bit more open. So the question is, uh, what would I, what would I like to make with that? Um, I need. Okay, what about? That is red. Um, I could make the wine myself. Um, I could. The problem is, I need that, and yeah, I could do that. Um, I kind of want to make my own wine so that I'm not asking for yours. But mm -hmm. here's the thing: based on the cards that I have, I would only need to do that once. So maybe I don't want to build a factory that I don't need because I'm I'm starting to run out of space here. Um, what else could I buy? What, what else could I use with this coal that I just got? Um, that is like vodka. Is that potatoes? Uh, yeah, so I can make potatoes and that wouldn't give me access to that liquor, whatever that is. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna do that. 
I'm going to build this liquor, vodka, whatever factory mm -hmm. and put it there. So I need to do potatoes with green and coal with blue. Actually, this should be flipped over. There we go. And now I've built a factory. Cool. And it is uh, your turn. Okay. I'm going to... I'm gonna move this down like that and then zoom a bit. Here we go. Mm. What did you take the vodka? I took, yeah, whatever that alcohol is. Uh, it's schnapps. <laughs> Alright, I will, oh my gosh. I need, I need to get old world. I mean, I have no space left on my tableau except for ships. Yeah. I will do, okay, all right, here's what I'll do. I'm going to complete a card. Okay. And I have to put my cubes, right? So, what are you trying to make? Red iron and blue canned food. Okay. To get four gold. Four gold, yep, as a reward. Okay. So, okay, this goes over here. one, two, three... Four. Now these have two sides, so just make sure you're not flipping them by accident. Oh really? One's one, one's five. Oh wow, okay. Like the reverse side is five. Okay. I won't, I won't flip it. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, I almost flipped it. Wait, this one's still one. Oh, was it? Oh, maybe I was incorrect. Yeah, all right. they're all still one. Alright, that's fine. Go ahead. Good? Yeah. Alright. So, I've got three blue cubes left and one trade token left but I really can't build anything. Could I build a ship? Um, ships require red workers, which I don't have. Um, so I might just do a reset. Um, so I, I will take the reset action and just sort of move everything back. Or do I, can I, per, can I complete a card with only blue workers? Let me just check real quick before I do that. Um, can I complete a card with only blue workers? Um, what's your... You have a canned thing? Yeah, it's right here. Okay. So, what I may do, let's see. Your, the cost to trade with a blue worker is one. So, I'm going to spend one trade token mm -hmm. to fulfill the can requirement, the canned food. That gives you a gold because okay. I traded with you. Thank you. And I'm going to spend a blue worker down here to produce schnapps, and this completes this card which gives me a purple cube and uh, three victory points. And I get a card because of that. Okay. And that goes into my victory area. Okay. And my turn? Uh, it is your turn, yes. How do I shift, like, with the gold? Anytime. It's a free action, first? so you can do it anytime so you want. So these are free actions to put back cubes yes. into your thing? Mm -hmm. And the amount... That it costs is dependent on the color, right? Yes. Right here. So it's one for green, two for blue, three for red, four for purple, five for I see. teal. I'll do two gold. Well, I'll do four gold to do two cute, two blue cubes. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so four gold. Here's the four gold. Okay. And I put two blue cubes back. Okay. So um, I will use. Um, yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to put, I'm going to make wine, and I'm going to trade, and I'm going to use your schnapps, which is blue, right? Right, so the blue schnapps. Oh, I don't use this though, right? No, you use a trade token. You're going to use a trade token for my schnapps. Okay, that's right. That's so fine. I get one gold. Yes. And I complete this card? Yep. So you, you did the schnapps and the wine, right? Yes. Okay. So, yep. So you get two blue workers. Okay. And two blue cards. Yes. So one, two, and one, two. Okay. Thank you. All right. You're doing things. Yeah. I'm trying. All right. I've got two blue workers left, so like, I, I, I purple. The question is, can I do purple with anything here? I mean, I, I can't do anything without space, so I can't, I'm kind of forced to either complete a card um, or... Hmm. If I cover this up with a production Nothing factor, happens. Oh, okay, good. Um, 
All right, so what I'm gonna do, I think I will reset. So I'm just gonna reset everything, that all my cubes go back to their starting positions. And my red ones go there, and my trade tokens come back. I could have spent a gold to bring a green back, but I don't see a need for that. Okay, uh, so that was my entire turn. So now it is your turn again. Okay, I will... I will do this and spend a trade for your blue coal. My blue coal? Yes. All right, so I get a gold. Yes. And, and I will build this one right here. All right, the work shirts? Yes. Okay. And Thanks. it is your turn? My turn. All right, I'm going to spend a trade token, or uh, I'm sorry, the exploration token to explore the old world because mm -hmm. I need space. So this comes up, and as a reward, I get two green farmers, which I don't know if I really needed. Um, but there's that, and I get two cards, one, two, and that gets added to my hand. And uh, that is my turn. I this comes down here. Well, um, what do I do? I'm going to shift a green from here. I'm By spending there. a gold? Yes. Okay. And then, and now I can still do my thing, because shifting Yes, shifting is a free again. action, yes. Alright, I'll, I'll put it back here to, to do a pig head. Okay. And I will spend... Oh, I can't. Because I have no trade tokens. Hmm. Alright, give me my gold back. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I won't do that. Sucks. You're still doing things. Mm, that kind of screwed me up, though. Um, uh, I have no choice but to reset. I think. That's going to be a typical thing, yeah. so don't don't feel bad. Uh, what are other actions I can do? How do you upgrade? How do you downgrade? You can't downgrade? No, you can't downgrade. Alright, so to upgrade, what do I need to upgrade? What does that mean? Um, I need a coal? Yeah, you need a coal and goods. So you need to produce those oh, things I to see. change a blue into a red. Worth noting, whenever you upgrade tubes, you do not get new cards from the the pile. What does the top mean? Like the top bars, like these right here? Uh, that's to buy outright a new worker. Oh. To add it from the supply. Oh, okay, I see. All right, I'm just gonna reset then. You're gonna reset. So all of these just go back? Yes. Okay, so now it's your turn? Yes. Okay. Um, including my trades and stuff? Yeah, including your trades, yes. Okay. Interesting. Okay, um, I am going to, I need to get, uh, now the only I can't build another ship until I get a sh uh, until I get a dock. Is that no? You have a dock. But my one ship. Oh, I have three starting out. You have three starting out. This does not indicate a population cap. This is not a population cap. This is just how many you can build on your turn should you want to. You can have as many ships as you want, regardless of how many docks. You oh, have. I see. I had the same question reading the rules. If you if you had two docks, you could build two ships for one turn. So if I had the resources, I could just build a level three, one mm -hmm. level three. No, you have to have a level three dock. Okay. You have a level one dock to start with, meaning you can build level one ships only. Okay. I if see. you want to build a level two or a level three ship, then you need a level two or level three dock, okay. respectively. All right. Sorry, I get it. It's okay. fine. So. Um, All right. Go ahead. It's fine. So, uh, let's see, what was I going to do? Work shirts. Um, yeah, I need work shirts. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to need to produce 
thread and coal, blue coal, and I now have work shirts. Nice. And it is your turn. <laughs> you really don't want to use my stuff, huh? I'm trying not to. I'm trying to be self-sufficient. Uh, but I have like, if you, I have a lot of cards with work shirts, so there's no reason, like that would mean yeah. I'd be trading with you a lot. Yeah. And I'd only have two of these trade tokens, so like that seems to be silly. I will um, complete a card and I'll give you a gold uh, for bread. For bread? Yes. Okay, so I get a gold. So you have to spend a trade token for that. Yes. Um, to trade is, yeah, one, one trade token. Mm -hmm. And I completed this one, so I get an engineer. Uh, yeah, you get a purple a purple cube and a purple card. Okay. There you go. So you get that. Okay, now I have a question. Mm -hmm. If I spent six, d does that mean both of these cards? Or is it one Only card one per card turn? per turn. Oh, so. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am going to... Hmm... Soap. Soap is there, which I can make, but do I need soap that badly? Actually, yeah, um, I'm going to produce what I need to build this soap factory. So I need pigs and coal. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to put the soap there. I will give you another gold. Okay, I'll for, take it. And trade it. For the soap. And for the soap, okay. I will put a shirt here and I get two greens. Two greens, okay. <laughs> I'm so, just racking up cards. No, it's, that's, what, that's what you're going to be doing. So you get two green, yes. you get two of these. Sure. Thank you. Oh my gosh, maybe this was a bad idea. Well, <laughs> we're going to be getting more than, you know, it's just going to happen that way, I think. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So... Now that I've got soap, I'm going to complete, uh, I'm going to spend this one, I think. Well, here's the thing. And that would leave me with two blue cubes left. Do I want to, I mean, now I have a shortage. Eesh. Um, I mean, I kind of want more factories, but I also want more ships. I'm going to need more ships at some point so that I can... I need another exploration ship so I can expand again. Um, and I would need two exploration tokens to do that, which means I need another ship. And an exploration ship needs cannons. So what would the cannons require? Because uh, I know you don't have cannons yet. That's a red one. Wow. So goods... Uh, so goods is here... Steel is here also red and a purple. Okay, I've got that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend my turn um, just building this cannon factory. And I'm going to exhaust. Uh, it's going to be a red, red goods and red steel and a purple cube. Uh, some of these require just to exhaust the color cube. So here's an example of that. This just requires a purple cube. So I'm just going to put it off to the side, off my board for right now, and then during reset I'll get it back. So I'm just going to put that here, and this just goes off to the side, just, I guess up there, that's fine. And my turn is over. Alright, I'm actually going to do the same thing. You're going to buy cannons? Yeah. That and all of wood. No. It was it's, goods and iron. So yeah, so two reds. Steel and a purple off to the side, and I'll do a cannon. Last, last cannon... There's only two of each of these goods up here. So, like, in a two-player game, it's not a big deal, but in a three- or four-player game, you're going to be fighting for these up here. Mm -hmm. The ships, though, there's more ships than... Uh, there's more than two tiles of these ships. Um, okay, so to build a ship, I can build another level one ship. I need cannons. I don't have the workers, unfortunately. I could use gold to bring one back and then produce it, if I really wanted to, or maybe I should just focus on other things first. Um, I've got room for one more thing. Maybe I should just focus on completing cards. So what I will do is I'm going to produce soap and work shirts to get four gold and three victory points. So I just will take four gold. I'll take a five and 
that and then this comes over mm -hmm. here and that's it for me okay i will um wish. i'll do um okay i'll do two blues a can and a wine and complete this card and get a red Okay. And a red card. So you get a red cube and a red card. Well, educated worker card, I should say. Yeah. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Do these red cards stink? Mm. Uh, as part of your action, I should note, you can um, put three back. Like, it, it, for, as part of your action, there is a way to cycle out your cards. What? <laughs> Play and activate population cards. Any number of cards can be activated any time. Well, that's not it. Swap population cards. There we go. Um, so you can slide up to three hand cards under their respective oh. stacks and then draw the same number of cards from the same stacks. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's an action to do that. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm going to... I'm going to... Well, let's see if I did this... Um, it's worth mentioning that should you get trade tokens as a reward or any sort of token, like a trade or exploration token as a reward for something, you get it temporarily for that turn, but it lasts until your next reset. So if you don't spend them uh, and you reset, they go back to the supply. So you may want to not, I mean, you can complete a card, but you may not want to activate it right away. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, so I'm, I'm going to do that, actually. I'm going to do schnapps, uh, which is that, and I need coal. So these, this is full, but I'm going to spend two gold to ready a worker. All that gold cool they gave you. Yeah, okay. and that comes back here, but I'm just going to spend it back to coal again to produce that. But I'm going to hold on to this because I get three trade tokens. Um... I already have two that I haven't used yet, so I'm going to hold on to this until I really need a trade for something, and then I'll have the trade power, but I'm, I'm not going to use it yet. But I still get three points at the end of the game whether or not I use it. So that was my turn. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I will... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, so... Alright, I'm just gonna build this thing. Uh that's what glass or what is that? Yeah. So yeah. goods and coal. Goods and coal right there. Alright. Oops. Right here. Wait. Right here. There we go. And that will go here. All right. These kind of ship tiles, right? The ones at the bottom? Yes. Okay. So you can put ships there. Okay. Um, I'm going to ready up some people so I can then do things. I'm going to spend four gold to ready up two blue cubes mm -hmm. because I need that. So this five is going to turn into a one. And I'm going to ready up two things, uh, one, two, and then one for coal and one for soap. And that will complete this card. And now this lets me upgrade greens into blues or blues into reds. So how am I going to do this? I can do that three times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, I'm going to upgrade two of these green ones into blue ones. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to upgrade a blue one into a red one. Um, just because I need more. So I can I can choose one of these down here if I want. Um, it just stays on the spot, though. Wait, so I'm, how, how are you upgrading? Sorry. I'm upgrading it via this reward. Okay. And then... So I did two green into blue okay. and one blue into red. So I'm going to oh, choose a blue either here or here and just change it into red. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to change this blue into a red, and I'll get this red back. Well, do I want the red now? Do I need it now? You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to put this blue back, and I'm going to turn a blue into a red. That way I've got the red ready 
to, to make something should I need it. And then this goes into my victory pile. Cool. And it is your turn. Okay. I will... Wood and... Actually, wait. This is tough. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. I will shift. So you're going to move some workers back? Yes. With gold. Yes. You've got two gold, so... So you're gonna, it's either going to be two, two green... Two uh, for blue. Two for blue. Yes. All right. And I'm going to complete this card. Which is sausage and bread. Use the sausage. Give you a gold for bread. Okay. Um, no, wait. I can't because I don't have a trade token, huh? No, you don't. Mother. 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 Give me my gold back. Dang it. Mother. 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 <laughs> mother. Mother, father, all right, all right. child, nephew, cousin, former roommate. So rough. Okay. Alright. She's saying good morning, how do you do in Spanish? Yeah, That's sorry. what that is. <laughs> Wait, I think I get two more gold because oh, of yeah, the yeah, yeah. shift. Yeah, you sh yeah, so use two? Yeah. You said give me a gold. I, I wasn't paying attention. I think I need another one because I gave you all three of mine. One to trade for you and then two to shift. But I'm not supposed to trade, right? Uh, I didn't know the gold would... I You don't give me gold. Oh, that's right. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, okay, that's right. You don't give me gold directly. I that see. comes from the bank. Okay. But I didn't take any. Okay, okay. So you got your two back for your shift. Yes. Okay, my bad. My bad. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Alright, I think I'll just do wood and glass to build this thing. Okay, that's uh, windows. Yes. And it's your turn. Alright, I am going to two trade tokens so that I can borrow your sales. I need, I need two trade... Don't tra you have sales? I do, but I don't have enough workers. Oh, so you're going to have two sales. No. I'm going to use two trade tokens to get your sales. Okay. I'm just curious why you didn't use your red worker. Because I need my red worker to make cannons. Oh, I see. You could have done the same thing with this. Mm. <laughs> right. I could have. But, um, so, yeah. I, this ship, oh, I also need to make boards, which is this. Yeah. So now I'm going to take this exploration ship. And add it to this, and I get a nice. exploration token, which it's a level one ship. But I can only build one ship because I only have one dock. Yeah. If I had two docks, I could build two ships if I had the resources for it. Mm -hmm. But that's it. Alright, my turn? Yep. You know what? All right, I'll do this. Uh huh. I'm just gonna build my own bread. I've been borrowing so much of your bread. <laughs> okay, okay. So you're gonna buy a bread factory. Buy a bread. Ugh. There you go. That's rough. That's all right. I I appreciate your business. Uh huh. <laughs> Please come again. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. My turn. My options are very... I've got one green worker and one blue worker. I ha, I could turn this in for some trade tokens if I wanted to. Um, the question is, would it be worth my while to do that? Can I 
Can I use three trade tokens to benefit myself in some way to complete a card maybe? Um, trade tokens, it's two trade tokens for that. Um, let's see, work shirts are blue, which I can make. Goods, I can't. I would have to trade for that. So what I will do is... Do I really want to... Yeah, okay, fine. So I'm going to use this. To, I'm going to turn this in to get three trade tokens. So this goes into my score pile. So one, two, three. So I have these temporarily until my next my next uh, festival. Mm -hmm. I will now make work shirts with a blue cube and borrow your canned goods, which are red, right? Um, do you have trade tokens? I just traded for some. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Someone hasn't been paying attention. So, no, I haven't. Um, I'm going to... Um, actually, no, I don't want to do that. I, I want to I complete this card. This one would use more. Uh, no, not that one. Wait, where'd this you, one. Where did you get those trade tokens from? Seriously? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I completed... I turned in oh, this card. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Someone does not... I, I'm uh, sorry, I was looking at my own thing. <laughs> Sorry. So, work shirts and goods. Um, I, I did the work shirts with my blue cube. Goods, I don't have a red cube for. But I will use two trade tokens to um, borrow your work shirts. Right here. Right. Uh, or, I'm sorry, goods. Goods, okay. which is here. That needs two trade tokens, which I spent. So, this is done. Okay, I'm do, gonna, I, do I get a gold? You do get a gold. And this goes away. I get a red cube and a red card. Okay. And it is your turn. Okay. Um, oof. I will cry. <laughs> that good, huh? That good. Mm. Alright, so if I did that. I'm gonna have to build a stupid you're gonna have a, you have, you're ship, ship. Like I have no choice but to build a ship, I think. So that I can explore for more space. So I might have to do that. Okay. Um so I'll do oh wait. You need they're all red. You need cannons, you need sails. Oh my lord. Oh. Um That's right, and I have no reds. You have no trade tokens either, so it's not like you, you can't... You have no cannons, first off. Yeah. So you need to trade with me for the cannons. I have cannons. Oh, you do? Oh, you bought them. Okay. All right, here's what I'll do instead. I'll shift a blue. So two to shift a blue. blue okay. It doesn't matter which blue. I'll just do this one. And I will complete this card. Okay, and that's uh, canned goods and... and uh, bread. Bread. So you're going to trade for... Oh, did you make? Oh, you're making I bread now. I made my own bread, yep. so I'm using two blues for bread and cans. Okay. And I spent two of that gold to do it. Okay. And I complete this card, which makes. Let you upgrade. upgrade three times. Greens into blues, blues into reds. Okay, all my greens are in blue. All right, so, so you get I to keep three this. Blues. Yep. And one, two, three. And these are done. All right. Yeah, it's your turn. My turn. I am going to try and complete this one. Nice. I need uh, a blue work shirt, which is full. And I also need canned goods, which I don't have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay two gold to bring back a blue worker and then bring it back here to produce the shirts that I need. Mm -hmm. And then you're producing the goods or the, the uh, canned, canned food. food. I need one trade token for that. So I'm going to spend my last temporary trade token to borrow that. You get a gold. Uh huh. And now I get a red cube and uh, a card. Okay. And that goes away. And it's your turn. All right. I will. Oh my gosh, that's funny. If I use this card, I'll have no green workers at all. That's hilarious. Oh, you should see me laughing. Oh, man, I kind of tempted to do it just for uh, giggles. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, it only costs... Oh, it costs wood. What happens if you run out of green workers completely? I don't know. You'd have to buy more via... You'd, but, have, you'd have to borrow my wood 
Oh, interesting. You have to borrow my wood hmm. via trade tokens. Is it optional? What do you mean it's like, optional? Like if, you, like, if you complete that three, like, upgrade... Three yeah, you don't three. have to do it, but... Again, you can hold on to the card until you're ready to use it. You don't have to... Oh, you don't have... There's only one card that requires you to do it immediately. Uh, it's this one here. If it has an exclamation point after it, that means, oh, you need to do it right now. And this is discard two cards from your hand. So uh, every other card you can hold on to until... Okay. Like, you can complete them, but you don't have to take their ability until you're ready. Yeah. That's really funny. Um, funny. While she's thinking, one thing that I kind of glossed over were these uh, bonus cards on the very top of the screen. Uh, well, let's zoom out first so you can actually see it. These ones up here. The five that are recommended, four of them are for end game scoring. One of them can be used during the game as a free action, but you need to spend three exploration tokens and three gold. That gives you a free action, a free main action. So if you want it, like, if you really need turns, you can spend gold and exploration tokens to get more turns. These are for each, old, for each new world thing that you have, you get six victory points into the game. Zoo, uh, as you complete animals on these exploration cards, which we'll get to later, you get an additional coin or ex extra victory point for each uh, animal that you fill in. Six points for each of these three resources, which I can't see them. Uh, it looks like a gramophone, looks like a wheelchair and a, a, a car, something like that. So if this can give a maximum of 18 points, six for each of these. And then whoever has the most purple cubes gets 10 victory points, second gets four. I'm going to reset. You're going to reset? Yeah. Should I reset? Yeah. Reset. <laughs> You're going to reset. Holy. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah. It's your turn. I'm thinking. <laughs> um, bread is... I kind of want to organize these a bit. I'm just going to move the factories. I'm not going to, like, do anything, but I want to organize reds with reds, blues with blues, so I can keep track of them easily. <laughs> um, so I'm going to just put this blue over here. Okay. Um... I've got red cubes now, so the question is, can I use them for anything at the moment? Um, I can build one more thing. Is there a factory that I need badly? Um, wine is a blue one, which I don't need terribly bad. Um, this... Uh, this is steel and whatever that is. Uh, looks like a... Uh, I don't know what it is. It's something. <laughs> it might, I think that might be an, an... Oh, it's this. I've got it. Uh, Interesting. Rubber. Rubber, nice. Yeah, rubber. So <laughs> I could, I could make that at some point. Um... I have, I'm just trying to figure out what to do with these red cubes that I have, uh, to maybe, um, goods, this is, um, I can make sales already. What factory do I need the most of right now? That's sugar cane, which we can't do. That's tobacco, that's cocoa, that's all... I can, whatever that is, it looks like, I can make coffee. <laughs> Not sure what that's going to do for me. But I have no trade tokens, so I can't do that anyway. Um, soap, I already have soap. Uh, I don't need that. What about this here? That is, what is this resource? Where is that coming from? Oh, up here. Goods and coal. Um, that might be something to think about, actually. Because that leads into other things, uh, which I may need, possibly. Mm, what about, oh, that leads into this. Interesting. All right, so maybe, I mean, I could think ahead and, and 
maybe go for this to prepare for these down here, because this resource is needed for this and this. Um, so this, the downside is that's going to cover up my last spot. I would have to really, okay. So that's fine. I will go ahead and spend the red goods and I'm going to use my red worker for the coal and flip this over. This gives me access to a new resource, which is, um, that is brass. So now I've got brass mm. and I think I was spending this from before, right? And that's my turn. Okay. All right, I'm gonna zoom in. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to build a ship. You're gonna build a ship. Okay. So that would be sails, cannon, and uh, wood. So sails, cannon, and wood. And I'll build a ship. Okay. Is that a trade or exploration? It's an exploration ship. Okay. And you get a tr you get a token for that. Yeah. And is that my whole action? That is your whole action. Okay. I built a ship. You built a ship. I am going to reset with only one green worker remaining. So uh, these all come back to me. And it is your turn. This expand. What is the? Are those free? No, that's one. That's action, for constructing. Right? Yeah, that's that's. That's one. You action. choose one thing. Okay. If you're going to expand, you're going to either build a building, build a ship, or build a dock. Basically, anything from this tableau up here, one one token. Okay. I will spend two to do a new world. New world. Okay. So the smaller one. Yeah. Okay. No. Um. Sorry. Old the world. Old world. Okay. That's what I meant. So one of these. Yeah. So I'm gonna put this over here. Or do you, where uh, do you want it? It doesn't matter. What the heck is that? It's another sail. You got a. It's a sail. <laughs> it's now blue. Okay. Sure. All right. So now you can make sails with blue workers rather than red workers. Okay. And I think that was it, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna explore the uh, old world. And this gives me access to coal again, unfortunately. I've already got that. But I can cover this up later. Now, here's a, there's an exception. Like, you cannot have two of the same. Like, if I had this already, I would not be able to build this in the future because that basically they're the same tile. You can't have two of the same factory. But the fact that I got this after I built this, uh, that's, that, that's the exception. So... I'm just going to move this down like that, put this here, and I could just probably cover this up in the future unless I really need coal for some reason. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that was my turn. All right, I'm going to build a dock. You're going to build a dock. All right, and that's an engineer, a brick, and a wood. Okay. To build a level two dock. Level two dock. All right. And that's all I can do. Yep. I'm going to do it this way. Yeah, this way. All right, I am going. To and it has to be on the shoreline. It, it has to be on the shoreline, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, at this point, I mean, I've got some really nasty things here that I need to complete. I need. Oof, blues can turn this into. Mm. Don't know if I like that one. Um. Hmm. Okay, um, you've got wine, so I'll make my own bread, which is here, and borrow your wine here, which is a blue worker, which is one trade token. Mm -hmm. And one gold. And one gold for you. Okay. And this gives me a purple cube and uh, a card. Is done. Okay. Um, I will do a bread. Oh wait, no, I can't do that. Shouldn't get that one done on there. All right. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, okay. So if I did, I'm gonna move this blue over here so I can. Just keep track of these things. Actually, no, I can't because that would be a free dock. I don't want to like cheat. 
There will be a dock space. All those things. Okay. I'll do another ship. A level one ship. A level one ship? Yes. So that's a sail. Now you can build two and ships because now you've got two docks. Yeah, but I don't have... You don't have the resources? Yeah. Okay. And I'll, sh I'll use one gold to shift my green and then just bring him back. Okay. So that one gold is gone. Okay. And I have to build this one. That is um, a exploration? Level a level yeah. one exploration yes. ship. Now, what did you say earlier? Sorry. I didn't have the resources. I couldn't build more than... You can build two ships now per turn. Oh, in one turn? Yes, because you've got two docks now. Oh, interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. But I can... Oh, you can have unlimited ships. You just it just can't be higher than. Correct. The level ship that you can build is the number. High. So you can build a level one or two with this one, and a level one with this High. one. I see. Okay. I see. I see. I see. I, see. I kind of want to build a ship as well because I need to keep exploring the old world for more space. Um. So. A new level one explore. Well, level two exploration ship is what? An engineer. I need a dock for that though. And a dock. So what is that going to entail? Brick, and oh, that's not bad actually. Mm -hmm. Level three is what? An investor. I need. Oh, I need a blue token for. I need a blue cube, which I don't have. I'll build a level two dock, um, and for that I'm going to need brick, which is red, and wood, which is green. And a purple cube, and now I've got a level two dock, and I'm just gonna swap these two mm -hmm. for the sake of looking nice. Mm -hmm. But I didn't really do anything other than that, so that's that's my turn. Okay. I will. I will use this token to explore new worlds. New world or old world? New world. Okay, so you're gonna do one of these. It's one token. Yep, so you get three of these cards. One, two, three. And I'll can move flip mine. It? Yeah, you can flip it. Okay. This thing, this thing, and that. Cotton, tobacco, and rubber. rubber. Wow. And these are yours. Okay, thank you. Oh. New world cards. You oh. get three of them every time you build one of these. I am going to build a level two exploration ship. Um, that needs wood. It needs cannon. Where's my cannon? Down there. And sails. And a purple. Hmm. So I get a level two exploration ship, which is going to go here. That gives me two exploration tokens. One, two. I could have built another one. Maybe I'm... Well, I don't have any wood. I'd have to spend... Do I want another ship at this point? Um, you know what? For action economy purposes, I might actually do that. So to build a level one ship, I would need a sail, a wood, and... Did you just build... I built a level two with my level two dock, but I have the inherent level one that I didn't use. So I'm going to actually do that, I think. I'm going to do second cannon, uh, wood. I have to pay to bring a green back and then bring it back here. And sail here. And now I get another ship. How come it says you can build up to one ship per shipyard? Yes, one ship per shipyard, as I said. Oh, ships in your turn. Oh. You may only build one of each identical industry. Oh, but that's industry type. It's not ship, right? Correct. You can have as many duplicate docks and, and ships as you want, but you cannot have duplicate industries. All right. It is uh, your turn. Oh, man. Okay. This is tough. This is getting to the nitty gritty. <laughs> mm. All right. I will spend a trade token for rubber. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I can't. I have to reset first. Contra. <laughs> Why would you have Actually, to no, no, I wouldn't. I'm going to trade one for rubber, and I'm going to use your wood with another trade token. Okay. And so you get a gold. I right? get a gold, yep. And I will build that, um, what's it called? Cigars. Cigars? Yes. This one? Yes. 
don't have a cigar factory. All right. Um, now that I've got more exploration tokens, I might, um, I could explore that again, or I can explore the new world. I've got three. I could explore another old world. I've got two spaces, so I'm kind of tempted not to do that. Um, I do want, I think, to get a second... Oh, do I have any cards that need... Oh, I could, actually. Um, I mean, I can complete these ones with... and then just get trade tokens, if, if that would be helpful. Um, but I, I kind of want to see what else I could get. So, uh, what I will do, I'm going to spend two exploration tokens to explore the new world again. See what else I get. I now have cocoa and tobacco. Uh, so I've got four different new wow. world resources, which awesome. is great. Um, so I spent two to do that. I get three cards. One, two, three. All right. And I am done. Oh, wow. Okay. I will reset. You're going to reset. Yes. Unfortunately. You need your reds and greens. Yeah. You also get your purple. Yeah. Um, from a me standpoint, um, I'm out of red, so I can't do that one. Um, this one I need. I'm trying to figure out like what I need the most of right now, and I can't decide. Okay, that one might be doable. This one is... No, I need a red for that. I don't have red. Crap. Um... Bikes, that's rubber, and... So I, need, I need this at some point, for sure. Um, I can produce that with a red token, which I don't have. Um, of course. I need a lot of red... I need a lot more red tokens than what I, I've got right now, I think. Um, what can I do with my blue tokens? Is there anything I can produce with blue that would set me up for red uh, in the future? So let's just think about that. Um, so these are... Mm, this one needs... Brass, I can't... Um, I've already... Well, I can... Yeah, brass is red, so I can't do that. Um... Wow. The steel is also red. I need a lot more red than what I have. Uh, I could upgrade my blues into reds by spending these. I mean, it's not great, but um, I could spend a coal, or I could work for coal and goods. Well, oh, actually, I don't have a red token for that, or a red thing for that anyway. I could, I can't pay either. I only have two gold. Ah, uh, man, this is, this is rough. Yeah, it is. Um... Can I build a new ship? No. Okay. Um, part of me wants to reset, which would hurt because I've got all these blues and greens that I kind of, I want to spend them first before I do that. But um, my reds I've used a ton of because uh, I was built I built a crap ton of ships. Um, Let's do ooh, coffee. Okay, that's thought. Coffee is trade token and coal, so I can do that. Just why not? So I'm gonna make some. Co I'm gonna make a coffee factory. So I'm just gonna move these. Actually, I'll just put that up here. I'll move these over. Put that there. And to do that, I needed a trade token for whatever that is. Uh, that is. Uh, Coffee, duh, and uh, coal, which is blue for me. So that goes down there. Mm -hmm. And now I can produce a cup of coffee. Nice. Awesome. All right, your turn. I'm going to spend a red on goods and a blue on glass and an engineer to make this uh, a wine bottle, Chardonnay. Oh, Chardonnay, okay. And it is your turn. Um, okay. Wow. Now can I make this? No, I can't. 
I'm trying to work toward these these cards, but um, everything I need requires red. I'm gonna re just to keep the game moving. I'm gonna reset. Okay. All right. While you're resetting, I will complete this card and use bread uh, and the things that I just built. All right. And I get to upgrade three blues into red. Three blues into reds or reds into purples. Really? Mm hmm It only says blue. Oh. It says blue and red on it, meaning... Oh, my God. I feel like starting over. <laughs> <laughs> I did all that work just to complete a blue into red, and I didn't realize that this stupid thing can do blue into red, right? Yes. Oh, my... Okay. I did that already for the record. I did blues into reds All with right. mine. Whatever. Someone so, just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, no. I, I was so like I know, focused. I know. So you want three reds? Yeah, three reds. Oh, Whatever. <laughs> mm-hmm. Whatever. 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 <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I thought, okay, I get it now. I thought it was like a dash instead of a slash. Like no, I it's thought a slash. it meant yeah. Okay, never mind. Oh, I could have done that so much earlier. All right, go ahead. I'm thinking. Sorry. <laughs> um, so frustrating. <laughs> that means I, I didn't even have to spend an energy to get one. It's our first game. But I, know, I, know, I know, I know, I know. I am going to complete this one. A bread. And a cloth. Mm-hmm. And a trade token. And I get two of these as a reward. Mm -hmm. And that's for end game scoring, so it just goes over here. And it's your turn. Mm. I'm gonna upgrade um, iron and this thing to upgrade one red to a purple. Okay. And I'll do that. All so right. this red goes there. All right. And you can do, when you upgrade, you can upgrade three tokens. Whenever you buy population or upgrade population, you can do that three times. So is there, do you want to upgrade oh. again? Do you want to upgrade more reds to purples or any other cubes to other cube colors? Twice more? Uh, but I'd have to spend the resources. You'd have to spend the resources to do it. But you can do that a total of three times when you take the upgrade or purchase people action. So wait a second. You get a total of three upgrades or three purchases. You've chosen to upgrade, so you did one to one. Yeah. You've got two more now that you could upgrade. Greens into blues, blues into reds, reds into purples, reds, purples into... You could do that. Oh! So you, you can do that two more times if you want. Okay, but still with... Regarding this? You'd have to spend the resources to do it, but... So if you want to go blue into red, you'd have to spend a coal and a good. If you want a green to blue, you have to spend a brick or whatever that is. Oh, so do you want to upgrade it? The question is, do you want to upgrade I any see. more cubes at this time? Uh, hold on, let me think now. Man. That would be a red and possibly a blue. What's the difference? What's the difference for what? Because I'm trying to calculate the upgrades, like which ones would be more significant, I guess. Depends on what cubes you need at this point in time. Okay, so okay, so I'll do this. I'll upgrade a coal and a wood, right? Okay. Or a, a, um, a coal and a thing to upgrade this. Blue into red, okay. Okay. All right, there you go. And you can do that one more time if you have the resources to do it. Um. Okay, so then... Them. Can I take that back? If you want. Yeah, let me take that back. That and that. Take that word back. Okay. Um. Problem is that. Okay. Okay. No, I think I'm good. I'm You're good. good. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. I am going to uh, spend three of these. One, two, three. 
to explore the old world again. And this, I have no room on my table, so I'm just gonna put it down here. This is a ship, a free ship. So I get a free trade token. I'll just take it. And let's just make sure the camera can actually see what that. So yeah, I have a new, this should go to the left of it, but I just don't have any room. So I'll just put that there. Mm -hmm. We'll just pretend like this is an islander or whatever. Okay, my turn? Yeah, it is your turn. I will... And it cost me three exploration tokens because this is my third old world purchase, so to speak. I'm just trying to calculate this so hard. <laughs> Don't think too hard. I know. All right, what I will do is build a ship. I'm going to build a level two ship. No, no I don't, because you can build how many ships? Up to two ships? Two ships, well, you have two docks, right? Yes. So you can build two ships per build action. One, a level one, one level two. Level one, one or, level two. Or two level or two ones. level twos? Two level ones. Oh. Your one dock is only level one. Yeah. At most, it can produce a level one ship. Yeah. This dock is level two. At most, it can produce a one or a two. So it's either going to be two ones or a one and a two. Okay. I'm still, okay, that's fine. I'll ask for clarification after the video. <laughs> what clarification? I just, I get confused. Like, up to two ships. How many docks? Only because of this. No. How many docks do you have? I have two. Two. So how many ships can you build? Two. two. That's it. That, that, that's it. I, that's all there is. I know, but the levels, I cannot build two level twos. Correct. Right? Because just pretend that... Each, each dock has to build the ship, right? This is a level one dock, so it can only make a level one ship. This is a level two dock, so it can only make a level one or a level two ship. Yeah. So whenever you're building, you can only... Oh, so one and one here. I see. Okay. This has the option to build a downgrade of one if yeah. you want. Okay. But one or two or one. So I can build a level one and a level two ship? Yes, you can. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. All right, sorry. Mm-hmm. That means I would need one, two, one, two. Okay. All right. Here's what I'll do. This is going to be really messed up. I don't want to do it. So you got this. Really messed up. Okay. I will. I'm going to. Oh, fudge. I still have to spend. Oh, I can't draw me. All right. That's fine. <laughs> I'm going to um, do a bread and a stupid sausage <laughs> and upgrade to greens to a blue and a blue to a no, red. No, no, wait. Take a green back. A green. I know. And two blues to reds. Alright. Can I do that? Yep. Alright. Then that's it. Where did this blue come from? That, I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I was trying to give it to you to turn it into a red, but I think you just gave it to me, so it's fine. All right. Um, and that's it. I guess. So, okay. Oh, my gosh. Um, I'm going to complete this one, which is a bread and a cloth, and I get a purple. Nice. So I'm going to take a purple cube and a card, and, that just, and it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to build two ships. Two I will ships. I'm build two sails and a cannon and a wood to build the level two okay. ship. And, and you get two, is that an exploration? Two explorations. Yeah. And another, oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot about this. Fine. <laughs> Your free sails. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, the blue, blue sails. sails. Yeah. And another wood. Some buildings let you build them for cheaper cubes. Yeah. And an exploration token. Exploration token. Oh my gosh, my head. <laughs> mhm. Mm All right. Um, next is. Okay, so I want to do that. I need. I need a blue. So I need fur coats. Uh, fur coats are where? 
I need machines. Which is right here. Oof. And then you need gold, which is right there. Well, I've got brass. Oh, nice. So this, I need that. Oh, you do got brass. Nice. Yeah, so I could do this. Uh, for my last, actually, no, I, I can just put this down here. So for machines, I need brass, which is here. I need steel, which is here, and spend a purple cube. And now I've got, it looks like a sewing machine or a machine shop or something. But, all right, your turn. All right, I might need you to explain this to me. Okay. So, do I spend the six exploration tokens? To yes, use just that spend card? it. Yes. So, I cannot explore. Oh, all right, so what card do you want me to explain? So, so does that mean that I have to spend for old world or new world? It doesn't, just, just six of these tokens. One, no, no, you just, you just remove them. One, two. Three, okay. four, five, six. Yes. Yeah, so you wouldn't be able to explore anything until you reset again, because you're spending all six of your tokens. So what is? So how do you? How? What's that one then? Is Same thing. You just spend six of your tokens to complete this card, and then you get them back whenever you reset. So rather than exploring the old world or new world or getting cards, you're completing a card. From oh, your I hand. see. Okay. So how about this then? Um, I'll explore this one, right? Okay, and so that's six. You have to spend yeah. six. Spend six, that's all of them. Yep. Three, four, five, six. Okay. And that gives me another action. If you want to spend it now, yes, that gives yes. you a free action. I want to spend it. So now, yeah, take another turn. I will reset everything. All right, so you're going to reset everything. Yes. Okay. And now it's your turn? Yep. So while she's doing that, um, I'm going to... What do I need for... Uh... So I got that for a reason. Why did I get that? It was for, uh, it was for fur coats, wasn't it? I'm trying to keep the tr the stuff straight in my yes. Yeah, so I need cloth, but I don't have any free cloth spaces. Uh, cloth can be done as a blue one if I had these, which I don't. So that's annoying. I'd have to. I'd have to take back, I don't have enough to refresh that, I don't have enough gold. So maybe I need to focus on other things. Um, actually I could trade. Um, do you have, do you have cloth? You don't. How, what is cloth? The white, you don't. No, because there's still a token here. Um, so no, you, yeah, don't, no, you don't, don't have that. it. Um, no one's producing it. Except for me. Oh, yeah. Um, In that case, you've got cigars, but I need bicycles. Eesh. Um, I mean, I can complete cards. I just won't take the action now. I could do that. Um, just to get that out of the way. I can upgrade as well. Green, uh, blues into reds if I needed to. Um... You know what, I'll just, I'll complete this card, but I'm not going to take its action. It's three free trade tokens, mm -hmm. temporary ones. So I'm going to spend an exploration and an exploration to complete this card. It's three points, but I'll keep it here until I'm ready to use it. So it's your turn. All right, I will spend all my exploration again. To complete another card? Yes. Wow. And take another action. It's the same exact one. Oh, okay. So yeah, you get a free action. Okay. And you're going to reset again. Uh, no, <laughs> absolutely not. Um, All right. I will. Um, what am I gonna do? Dang. No, oh, I'll just build another boat. <laughs> okay. You like your boats? I like my boats. Um, or do I want to? Yeah, whatever. Well, hold on. Oops. I'm gonna build another boat. You're gonna build another boat. Yeah. Um, and that would be sails. Yeah, sails, cannon, and a wood to build 
Uh, and an engineer, because why not? Build a level two. Okay. Two exploration points. Uh, tokens, you mean? Yeah, to tokens. And I can build another one, right? Uh, yeah, because you have a level one, a level one ship. Yes. Shoot. I might actually save it. Okay. Yeah, so that was it. Got All right. it. Um... Okay. Okay, I'm going to try and complete... Well, it's a card. I need schnapps. I need chocolate. Which... Oh, I can't do that yet. I'm ahead of... I'm getting ahead of myself. Chocolate is where? Here, I need pigs and cocoa. So I'm going to build this chocolate factory. So that's um, pigs and cocoa. Which is, I have it, so I'm just going to trade for it with my own new world. And then I now have a chocolate factory. Mm -hmm. So I'll just slide these over to the right. There, fine. Okay. Okay. I will build another boat. <laughs> Alright. Uh, wood. You and your boats. And that, and wood. And an engineer for another level two. Okay. Uh, is that exploration? Yes. Yep. You have a fleet of ships. My gosh, you're gonna just take it at everything mm -hmm. by storm. Yeah, <laughs> All right. Now that I can make chocolate, uh, coffee is red. However, I'd have to. I don't have enough for that yet. But I, I'm now set up for it. Um, I have to move to upgrade. Blues into reds, I need coal and goods. So, brick. Actually, coal is blue. Right? Yeah, dang. Um, that's kind of rough. Alright, there's that. I get these cards done, but at the same time, it's like mm -hmm. I'm out of the cubes that I need. Um, okay, to complete this, I need more red. Yes, so that would be one, two, and then a blue, which I don't have. And I would need another gold if I'm going to do that, so I can't do that. Um, that one's full up, so I can't do that. That one is not available. Beer? Where's beer? Is that... <laughs> All the icons are starting to... Just... Yeah. I'm... Beer is the this one right here, so it would be that one up here. No, it's a barrel. It's like a barrel. Oh, a barrel. Um, rum? Rum? Is it on here? Yeah, it's the last one to the left. Oh, it's down there. I need sugar cane. None of us have sugar cane. Uh, mm -hmm. um, vehicles. I need to turn a purple into a blue at some point, but I need fur coats to do that. And to get fur coats, I need... Um, I, I need this, so I need that, and, okay, I, I have to reset. As much as I don't want to, mm -hmm. I, I have to reset. I need, I need my red cubes to continue producing things. It's um, a shame, too, because there's, I could have done more, so much more, but yeah. I feel like I'm starved for certain things. I'm going to um, I will um, spend can I it's okay I need to spend for an old world right it's a, for three I can do an old world correct can I just spend four like for no reason why would you because I have a card that says if I spend four <laughs> exploration No, points. you can't do both. Oh. You pick one or the other. Oh, okay. All right. 
Oh, I see. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I will spend um, three just for to explore the new world. New or old? Old. Sorry, old. Okay. So this is a goods factory with blue workers. Oh, interesting. Now I have a question. I spent three. Does that mean that it splits, or do I have to spend the whole thing? No, you don't. It, it splits. It splits. It's, yeah. Okay. So you can keep that one on there. So it's your turn. Mm hmm. Um, if you're going to do that, I'm going to... Sorry. Well, no, I'm just trying to keep everything... Yeah, organized. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I can move mine over here if it's, it's fine. easier. No, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, well, now that everything is reset... Um, oh, my gosh. I'm going to move this paper, though. Go for it. Yeah, we, we need more table space for sure. <laughs> like, I, okay, I need fur coats. So, um, fur coats are here. So what I am going to do, though... Is, all right, so let's take this one at a time. Um, goods are red, but you've got a, you now have the ability to make blue goods. Mm -hmm. So it's cheaper for me. Uh, I'll spend one trade token. Actually, I'll just do this one down here. Um, to use your goods, your blue goods. So you get a gold. Mm -hmm. And a red cloth and red machine. And now I can make fur coats. And I'm done. Okay. Uh... Alright. What the heck am I gonna do? If my engineers are off the board, can I still upgrade? Yeah, yes, you can. And but that but they stay would there. be up would yes. be okay. They would stay off the board until you reset. I see. Mm. I think I'm just gonna build brass. Brass. Yeah. You don't want to borrow mine? I mean, I've got I've got brass. I'm going to <laughs> red and a blue good and brass. Brass. All right. I am going to. Um, I need to move up to this. I think. So that would be brass, which is red. And steel, which is red. And now I can produce these basic vehicle machines, I guess. Oh, I can't because I need a blue worker first. I can't do that. So I have to take that back. Red and red. Okay. I need a blue. I need to upgrade first. So my fur coat, I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to produce a fur coat. And t change a red into oof. I feel like I need more reds so I can convert them. Because I've got all these blues now. Um, I may just take the upgrade action and convert a bunch of blues into reds and do that. So let's, let's, um, so I need, I'm gonna do three, no, one, two, and two coal. One, two. That changes uh, two blue into two red. And I now want to convert a red into a, blue, uh, a turquoise. Mm -hmm. So a red, well, I have first, I have to, yeah, it says to, to upgrade, I need mm -hmm. to exhaust a red mm -hmm. and to assign a red to a fur coat, which is down here. Mm -hmm. And now this red turns into, so I've got my first investor, whatever that is. I thought the purple would turn into a red, or, or a purple. Oh, would you're turn right. Into a teal. You're, okay, yeah. So, all right. That red I'm getting confused. Mm -hmm. So that red comes back. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. What was this one? I spent the red, like I had to exhaust the red and uh, produce a fur coat. 
Oh, so this doesn't mean to spend it. It just means to exhaust it? Exhaust it, yes. Hmm. Anytime you see uh, a worker icon, you're exhausting it. Like I thought, I know, I thought it was discarding it. No. Okay, I see now. Oh, that makes a difference. Hmm. Okay. All right, now it's your turn. I, did, I used the upgrade action. Okay, Um. here's what I'll do. I will do the same thing. I mean, I, I need a purple. I'm going to do um, this and this to turn a red into a purple. Okay. So, yeah. And then I'm going to turn... I'll trade with you for the blue coal. Okay. Um, so you get a gold, and I spend a blue worker on this good to turn a blue into a red. Okay. And then... Oh, fudge. Red. And then a red. Hmm. It was kind of stupid, wasn't it? No. You needed certain cubes of certain colors, so you're converting. Ugh. Problem is, that takes so many resources to convert, and then I keep forgetting that you have to use your cubes to... Damn. Maybe that was a bad idea. I was trying to calculate it. <laughs> well, again, we're not playing perfectly here. No, no, We're just having fun, you know. Um, okay, so what if I did red and orange to turn blue? Okay, wait, okay, so how many times did it, can I? You, d you did twice, so you can do one more upgrade. Damn it. All right. All right, I will do a, um, I'll do a red here. And I'll do another trade to give you the coal again. To okay, you can't coal. trade for the same resource twice. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Damn. Do you have a blue good anywhere? Or no? Uh, no, I don't. It's a red good? Yeah, you have the blue goods. Damn. All right, I guess that's it. That's it? That's the main action, right? Yeah, that was the main to action. To do that. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, trust me, I'm not playing perfectly either. I know. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna... Oh, wait, wait! If I can do it a third time, can I just upgrade my blue to an investor? Or my yes. purple to an investor? You can. Alright, so I'll do my trade to give you a gold for your coat. For the fur? Yeah. Okay. And I'll exhaust a red. And... Does that mean I get the blue? Yes, so that turns into uh, teal. Yeah. Teal. Whatever. Okay. And that's it. Mm hmm Okay. Did you exhaust the red? Yes, okay. that one. Okay. Yeah. Um Goodness. Yeah. I'm now I'm gonna do this. I'm going to pay three gold to bring back a red worker that was exhausted. Or doesn't matter from where, I'll just do it from there. Um and I'm going to uh pay for this, which is brass. Um, it's steel and an invest investor. So now I have access to these, this, this driving machine, whatever. It requires a purple cube to use. And that was my turn. Yeah, I did something really stupid, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting all confused, so I'm just gonna reset. <laughs> <laughs> That's typically how that goes. Your turn. Alright. Um, that leads into. I would need a new investor, though, so I can't do that. Um, I will just, I think, I've got all of these things here. Um, I could trade for the. Or I could go for the old world again to try and get more space, which I may need. So, um, I, I'm going to use four of these tokens. One, two, 
This is going to be the last time I can do this. But I'm going to do another old world. Old world. And the bonus is two blue mm -hmm. workers, which I get two cards. One, two. And that was my turn. Okay. I will spend... Um, I'm going to spend four, one, two, three, four, to get four trade tokens and two gold. So you want the, you want them now? Uh oh, or I you want to hold wait. on to, you want to yeah, hold on to that? Okay. I, so you completed the card, but you're just, you're going to wait on that ability. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, I am going to complete... And that's activated any time, right? Any time on your turn, yeah. So I'm going to do a work shirt and a bread to complete this card that I just got. It just gives me two green workers. So two of these, and I get two cards, one, two. And it's your turn. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. Um, I'm How come there's two different cloths? One is blue workers, one is red workers. Oh, I can't see. Can I... What do you need for... The, the blue one? What's the blue it? one needs cotton, which you have. Okay. It also needs the vehicle that I have. What's the vehicle? Is it this one? That, that is that, yes. To trade for that, it's three trade tokens. Three trade tokens? Mm hmm So what about the red one? The red one is wood. cotton and wood, which you have. You need one trade token yeah. to trade with the new world and one green worker for your wood. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, this is tough. All right, I will build the pocket watch with glass, oops, glass and brass. And an investor. Or an, uh, Purple token? Yeah. Or a purple worker? Yeah. Okay. I'll build that. Alright. I will... That's brick. I can't do that. Okay. okay. Yeesh. I am going to... Do blue work shirt mm -hmm. and pay two trade tokens mm -hmm. to use your steel. Mm -hmm. uh, so you get a gold. Okay. And I'm going to complete this card, which gives me four gold. Nice. So one, two, three, four. I will use a steel. I'll trade for rubber press for this thing okay. and I'll use my investor to build a unicycle. Ah, look at you. Oh, disgusting. That takes purple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, sorry. Um, do I need that? Okay, so rubber. All right, so... Hmm. You want to build more things. The unicycle is steel and steel and rubber. If I were to build that, which that is victory points at the end of the game, so I might as well jump on that. I'm going to turn my card in okay. for three trade tokens. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take these are temporary. I don't get to keep them forever. But I will, um, I want to do the unicycle as well. I need steel, which I need two trade tokens to borrow your steel. And I need one for the rubber for myself. I've got rubber here. So I've spent all three, and I'm going to just purchase the unicycle. Nice. I'll put that up here, actually. Okay. 
Your turn. I'm going to spend... Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to spend all my... No, no, I won't. Not yet. I'm going to spend four uh, things for an old world. Okay. I think. Hold on, let me think. Hmm. <laughs> Where are those coming from? Yeesh. I'm going to spend actually all my things to complete a card. Okay. Wait, do I want to do that? <sighs> Sorry. Mm hmm. I'll do that to complete a card and discard two cards? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to discard these. These two. Okay. So these just go to the bottom of yeah. that. Pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, Chocolate is pigs and cocoa, but I don't have any trade tokens, so that's not going to be good. Um, I kind of want to upgrade greens into blues, and I need brick to do that. Um, so what I may do is, I've got two coal things, which is kind of useless. I'm going to spend a coal to build this brick maker, which uses blue workers. I'm going to replace this one for this one. So I don't have two coal things anymore. But now I have a brick maker that uses blue workers instead. So that's my turn. Um, this goes back to the supply right there. I'm going to reset. You're going to reset. reset. Okay. All right. Um, now that I've got these, um, Problem is, I don't have any way to produce brick because I'm out of blues now. I kind of want to do a reset as well because all I've got are greens at this point, so not helpful. Yeah, I will reset as well. So the ball is back in your court again. I'll spend two exploration points. Tokens. Tokens to put this card on hold, I think. Now these, if you turn these cards and you have to use the trade tokens, like, immediately? Yes. Okay, I see. All right, yeah, I'll put those on. Well, no, 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 no. It, until your next reset. Oh, really? You have them until your next reset. Okay, then yeah, I'll spend these. So I get seven? Seven what? Seven trade tokens? Yes, and two gold for them. And two gold. Okay, I see. All right, so that's one, two, and then you need seven trade tokens. Yeah. These are temporary now. Yeah, until my next reset, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. All right. Um, with this in mind, uh, oh, these go back to me as well. Okay. Um... Now I need to start completing more cards. How am I going to do that? Well, sausages are... Can you make sausages? Uh, yeah, with a blue worker. A blue worker, interesting. That gives me... Okay. Um, I just might complete this card then. I'm going to use one trade token to borrow your sausage. You mm -hmm. get a gold. Nice. And 
I will use a blue worker for the brick. Right. And I get a purple cube and uh, I get a card for that. Um. Hmm. I'm going to build a, a green and a red coal to build the schnapps and put it over my goods. Okay. You don't want the goods anymore? No. So you want schnapps? This one. Alright. I am going to getting more investors would be nice so I can produce more of these up here. That's rubber and okay, so I'm gonna build this. This is rubber for one trade token. And because I've got rubber, one investor, and a purple worker for this lets me build this advanced vehicle. Okay. Alright. Um, I think I'm gonna complete this card, um, which is cloth. So I have to spend a trade token mm -hmm. for this cloth. Yep. So you for get. Me? Yeah. Okay. And I can do schnapps, and it says this requires another trade token. So this lets me do a main action. Yep, yeah, main action. All right, which means that I will complete this one, which is a blue. Did you just end the game? Maybe. Wow. A purple and a red. And this lets me discard my last two cards. Wow. Okay. I wasn't. I didn't know you were almost out. Okay, that's really good. I had. I still had. So many cards left. Now, <laughs> you, that was, you get this. Okay. This is seven points for ending the game. I think we each get one more turn or something like that. Let me just make sure. I think you beat me big time. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, you, like, did you rush for the end of the game or Kind something? of. Because towards the end. Because I saw that I can actually, like, discard up to four cards, and I was like, ooh. That's a lot of cards. The current round is still played to the end, so every player is the same number of turns. After this, if I, so I get one more, you get one more. Okay, interesting. So I will complete as many cards as, I mean, one card is all I can do. So yeah. the most expensive card that I can finish is what I'm going to try and do. Um, so this is one, two, three, four, five. I don't have enough for that. This is fur coat. Uh, you've got cigars, yes? Uh, don't think so. I thought you made cigars. Did I? I don't remember. No, you, yeah, you do, but I don't think I have the trade tokens for it. Oh, anyway. cigars, yeah. No, it's fine. Um, I can just, just to keep the game moving, mm. I can just, I'll do this one. And that's uh, four exploration for five points. Mm. Um, so, yeah, that's just two gold and four trade tokens. So... Um, I'll just take the two gold, because that is endgame scoring related, but I don't think trade tokens left over have any bearing. Yeah. So that's my turn, and now you get one final turn. Okay. Um, With no cards left, I don't know what you could possibly do at this point. I'm going to upgrade. I still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, <laughs> 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's no penalty for having leftover cards for the record. Two purples. I get two purples because I upgraded two reds twice. Okay, two purples. Mm -hmm. And these go back to the supply. All right. Um, and then I can tr upgrade again, right? But that's a free action, right? It's free action. No, no. Uh, upgrading workers is not free. Oh, it's okay. It's an action. So that's it. <laughs> okay, so now we count up. Uh, now the expedition cards. I don't think you have any. I've got two. I have a few. Expedition. These? Oh, where do you get those? You two... Trade token, two exploration tokens to get these. Oh, stupid me. I have two of them. I was wondering where the heck, like, how can I do the zoo thing? Okay, I see now. Well, all right, so I have a, so now I'm going to assign cubes that are anywhere to these cards. This is a purple one. Dang. This is a red one. And I need another teal one, which I don't have. I should have done that for myself. Oh, would that have been? Dang. All right, so now we need to count stuff up. Um, okay. so let me get my calculator out. Okay. 
And do you want to do yours first? Um, what, what do you got over there? Sure. Uh, five. Uh huh. Eight. Uh huh. Five. Uh huh. Three. Uh huh. Eight. 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 Three, eight, three, 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 and three. Seventy-four. And, and seven. Plus seven. Yeah. So eighty-one total? Eighty-one. Plus leftover gold, I think it's one point per three. Just make sure I got that right. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. scoring uh, expedition. Three gold is one point. Three gold, so I get an extra one point. Yeah, and plus these, these up here. Oh, so you had one of these, which is six. Okay. You had uh, any Zuno. No. Did you have any of these three goods? I don't know what they are. <laughs> one is the vehicle, one's the unicycle. You had the unicycle. The unicycle. So that's six points. The other two you don't have. Which one's that one? That is this, which I neither of us has. Vehicle. And then whoever has the most purple cubes. We both have four. So we share the victory on that. So, so ten. ten. So you have 104. If we did the math right, it's 104. Now let me see if I even come close. Wait, where's your fourth purple cube? Uh, Do you have four? Dent, one, two, three. No, I only have I only have three then. I could have sworn you had four. I converted one into uh, at one point, I think. Oh, I see, I see. All right, so that means I'm going to get four on that yeah. anyway. So let's go ahead and count this up. I've got... How much did I have? 104. 104. But you're going to have to remember that because yeah. three, 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 three. I have a feeling you're going to win because I was not prepared for that. <laughs> Um, three for, yeah, you won totally. No. Three for that, but the zoo gives me plus one. Mm -hmm. Two for that. One for that plus one is two. Um, what else? I get 12 for that. Uh, I get 12 for that. And four for that. So 85. So you beat me by 20 some points. Wow. So it wasn't even close. You you beat me because I was not prepared for the end of the game. I did not know how many cards you had left. Yeah. So what did you think of this? I, it was okay. It was very confusing sometimes. But once you get like the little tiny like rules and the cracks like correct, it's it's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. I, I like the chaining, the building. I would have probably liked it better if we were allowed to build one building instead of like having two of each for a two player game just because we're forced to trade a little more. Mm -hmm. but it was weird, a weird choice. Like this deck is the same length as a two to four player game. Yeah. Two for each, no matter, I mean, that's just weird. I mean, there's no, in a two player game, you've got more availability. Whereas in a four player game, you're forced to cooperate more. Yeah. It's true. weird how they didn't really factor that in too much. Yeah. But yeah, um, I, I love this game. I'm so mad that I didn't get to keep going with it because I was I was working toward this stuff, but you're like, nope, done, 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 oh, done, done, done. So like, I was so mad. Like when you, I saw that you were about to go out, uh, and I hate when you hide your crap. Uh, that's why. I mean, when I got down to like the last four or five cars, I was like, oh my god, I can't let him see my hand. <laughs> yes, had I known that, I would have completed more cards. I saw you building and I was like, okay, I can delete like four cards right off the bat with this whole like chain main action thing. So I was like trying to calculate which ones I can complete uh -huh. and which ones I can delete. And that's why I built these last four buildings. I see. Yeah, um, I took the engine building a bit too far, I think. <laughs> Is what happened, I think. I, I, I should have spent more time completing cards as opposed to... But I didn't think that the game was going to end that quickly. Really? Yeah, I, did, I didn't realize you were going to do that. I, I feel like it went on for a long time. It did. <laughs> but, like, we didn't scratch... Like, we barely built these things over here to the right. Which, which ones? Were the, the purple ones. We, I, oh, these? I had three purple factories. You had none. How did you complete your, your purple... Uh, I had a unicycle. Oh, you had a... Oh, okay. That yeah. was the only purple building I got. Right. And that's from my rubber. What's crazy is that my cards all required things that I didn't have, like mm -hmm. chocolate, 
Uh, canned goods. Um, oh, wait, these are the ones I completed. <laughs> the ones I couldn't complete. Cigars. Uh, fur coat. I had three of these exploration ones. I had unicycles. Uh, regular vehicles, like a, a lot of end game goods that I was trying to work toward. I would have gotten a crap ton of points for these if the game had gone on farther, but you had ended it before that had happened. And sorry. yeah, yeah, <laughs> sorry, sorry, not sorry. I was, I loved my cards of deletion because I had cards that were like, oh my god, I need to get rid of this. And I keep forgetting that you can actually get rid of them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I didn't cycle the cards at all. Like, I could have, like, mm. take three cards and put them back and then yeah. take three more whatever I like this game I really did uh, the video game is easier to play in my opinion uh, setup for this game was a beast because yeah. you have to match the tokens to the right spot and uh, I like the fact that there's different goals to work toward the, the setup recommends a particular five I love that the old worlds have a unique bonus to them so like one's a ship one's free workers one's this one's that um, I love that and I love the fact that the new world gives you cotton all the time but two different ones mm -hmm. almost so like you might have to like do this a couple of times to get everything that you need mm -hmm. i'm a completionist i like to build everything mm -hmm. and that worked to my disadvantage here i think i don't know i because I, I wanted to keep exploring and and i completely forgot about this part mm -hmm. And if I had known that, I probably would have wasted my time doing this Maybe. stuff, and you would have like kept going longer. Mm -hmm. For those explorations, you need uh, teal, oh. red, and purple. So these last three, these are the cubes oh. that you need to complete these. Oh, well maybe it's a good thing I didn't get it, because I didn't have a lot. Of yeah, you didn't. You, you would have to have worked toward those, Oof. like I was trying to do. I'm sorry. It's, don't be sorry. It's it's our first game. Now that I know that, I know what to focus on next time. I love the cards. I love trying to manage the resources and the cards. And I don't know. I thought that was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. I would totally play this again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, it needs to be digital, though. Yeah, digital. Um, I was shaking. I was sweating and having heart palpitations. Oh, that's the good. whole thing. Just because it was nerve-wracking. Put it on the box. <laughs> I had heart palpitations while playing this game. It's kind of competitive. Like, you have to be the first one to get the, the building. Otherwise, you're kind of gonna you're kind of gonna get stuck trading. You know? mm -hmm. I like, though, that there are cheaper versions yeah. available. So, like, wood is, uh, like, coal... Mm -hmm. And the start of the game is red worker, but you can construct a building that makes it so that you can use a blue worker instead. Mm -hmm. so I like that. That's really cool. I like that there are multiple ways to make the same product for cheaper, mm -hmm. but you have to, do you have the table space for it is what it comes down to. Yeah, that's a big one. I ran out of table of new worlds. Yeah, old of worlds. old worlds. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. All right. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, I think I think we enjoyed this one. Yes, we did. That was Anno 1800, the board game. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vincent Idalee. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.